Wellness Wednesday. Last month, an award-winning actress dropped a bombshell. Julia Louis-Dreyfus announced that she'd been diagnosed with breast cancer, tweeting that one out of eight women get breast cancer. That is, of course, over their lifetimes. But that that day, she was the one. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. MJ Jenkins is a spokesperson for the American Cancer Society and a breast cancer survivor herself. And we hear a lot about breast cancer. We do. But I think there's still so much unawareness out there. Why is that? You know, I say happy Breast Cancer Awareness Month because yeah. it could really save your life, what you're going to learn here today. I think the biggest issue with, with having early detection is it's really not a cure. There's mm. other ways, if people are putting off their mammogram and their early detection, that they really don't need to do that because there's other methods, such as ultrasound, if you're a dense breast, you can have other ways to detect breast cancer. So it doesn't and have to be frightening. It doesn't have to be frightening at all. And I have to that say, after, after Julia Louis Dreyfus's um, announcement, my husband picked up the phone and called me and said, you're making an appointment. I had my very first, and I'm not proud of this, my very first mammogram last week because of Julia Louis-Dreyfus. At 29, that's a good time to have it. <laughs> Just <laughs> Thank you. You know, the American Cancer no, I Society. Was, and, and I'll tell you why, Wait. though, MJ, is that there, the, it was a moving target for a while. Mm -hmm. When was the first year she used it? So people like me use that as an excuse to say, oh, well, they don't even know yet when we should have them. So, and I back, mm -hmm. shelved it, and, it and it didn't come up again for years. Wow, the American Cancer Society really wants you to start having your breast cancer screenings as early as 40. And check with your doctor, mm. especially if you have hereditary cancer, earlier than that. But at 45, make sure you have them every year. All right. Next, uh, so the number tip one was early detection isn't a cure. You know, 30% roughly of, of, of women will, who have breast cancer will metastasize breast cancer. Olivia Newton-John is a perfect example of this. And frankly, after I had my double mastectomy, I was shocked to see that I was not out of the woods. You know, 25 years later, Olivia Newton-John is having metastasized breast cancer, which is basically breast cancer coming up in other parts of the body. And number two, not all breast cancer. It's the same. It's not all the same. I mean, you need to shop around. People actually shop more and get more bids mm. on renovating their kitchen and their home than they do on their own medical care. When you find out you do have breast cancer, shop around and make sure you go to two or three, you know, quotes. Get second opinions with your doctors. There's huge improvements, like in the radiation area. Mm. Dr. Bondari over at St. Joe's does a one-time treatment while you're open, in surgery, while you're asleep, one-time treatment, intraoperative radiation. Oh, wow. So, so you, you don't, don't have, have to, to have back. all the, the <gasps> side effects and the burning and the aching for six long weeks after you're healing those wounds from wow, breast surgery. That's so new. phenomenal new things. Okay, number three, exercise lowers your risk. And this is something that I think is really interesting and important, how much exercise. I'd say whether you've had breast cancer or whether you're not, especially if you're in your 20s, start now because women that are below their 30s have a 17% decreased risk in having breast cancer if they start exercising. Postmenopausal women, still a 10% decrease in your chance of getting cancer because exercise and obesity have been found to be hand in hand how you can help yourself not to get breast cancer. What Absolutely. about nutrition? How big a deal is that? Oh boy, big news in nutrition mm. because you should be focusing on no sugars in your diet as possible. Ah. Sugars not only have been known to you know, feed and increase cancer tumors. But think about what's happening with the nutrition that's happening in uh, the, the FDA is now approved. Showing those added sugars have always been hidden. The hidden sugars, like here's before, here's after. One gram of sugar before, but now, uh-oh, there's all those hidden sugars that are now 12 grams of sugar on the new labels the FDA is requiring. And how do you feel about people going online and looking up an anti-inflammatory diet? Because inflammation is the source of so much disease. So much disease. You want to be sure to have one-third is protein and the rest of your plate should be fruits, vegetables. I like to shop on one ingredients because you want to have like myplate.com, for instance, the cancer.org website with the American Cancer Society will show you how to eat more fruits and vegetables to be healthier. And it's not just your grandma's disease. Mm. Oh boy, this is a big shocker. Everyone thinks like, oh, in their 20s and 30s, they don't even have to focus on having breast cancer. Not true. Because it's not your grandma's disease. There's actually more women now. There's 17% of mm. all the women diagnosed with breast cancer are actually under 50. I was just at 50 when I was diagnosed. Hereditary cancer. Angelina Jolie came out talking about the BRCA1 gene. Well, guess what? Angelina's mom, yes, she passed away from cancer. Her aunt passed away. I've lost my relatives, but I tested negative for BRCA1 because I know that there's only a tiny bit of genes that are tested on that whole pie chart of the genes for BRCA1 and hereditary. You still need to be concerned if it runs in your family, and even men can get it too. So I'm really worried for my yeah, boys. No, it's yeah. true. Yeah, it, it doesn't happen obviously as often, but yeah, it's it a does one percent. One percent of breast cancer out there is men. MJ Jenkins, thanks so much for being with us. And again, I, I'd like to encourage everybody, all you women out there, and the men who love them. 
Uh, it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Come out I to Making Strides Walk. I put it on. I'd love to invite you, you to our it. brunch after the Making Strides Walk in MC. There. there are a number of walks for breast cancer happening this month, including the ones you see on the screen. For a complete list, go to foxla.com and we'll link you up with all the details. And you can make it a family event, just like MJ did with hers when she walked. Think MJ, no pink. Thank you so think much. Think no pink. Thank you so much. Think no cancer.